Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. As a Terek Cloud Surfer here, ready to bring you a match from EGC TV's The Elite Classic. And today we have I Am Magic in the color red playing as the Abbasid Dynasty and his opponent in the color teal or cyan, Yui Metal, also known as H4, playing on the Delhi Sultanate. And the map is Rocky Canyon and it's just a dry river in the middle and some stone outcroppings over there and then it's pretty much dry arabia super open some forests but not a ton and the relics usually are fair fairly displaced and this is a best of five match or set and this is the first match of that set so make sure to keep watching the youtube channel to know more about this uh, set also EGC TV. Twitch uh, streams this live on Twitch and I'm also live on Twitch casting and playing so make sure to use the links down below to reach my channel and go to Twitch and find EGC TV. So this is a very interesting matchup that we don't see very often which is Abbasid versus Delhi Sultanate. Both civilizations like to go for the berries right but they have very different approaches right. The Abbasid dynasty can age up in a very different uh, types of ways with the House of Wisdom and the different wings they can go economical wing they can go military wing while the Delhi Sultanate as some interesting choices as well they can go for cheaper scholars or 20 percent more attack speed on their infantry and archery units and then they like to go for keeps compound of the defender build some keeps villagers villager fortress and they have more villagers than the opponent but the thing is abbasid really likes to go for two tcs or three tcs and by the time delhi reaches castle age perhaps the abbasid already has a very strong lead and can overtake them and also Delhi loves and almost certainly will go in this match for the sacred sites because they can capture them on the feudal edge everybody else just ca just capture them or are only able to capture them on the third age and Delhi also has a boost so they receive more gold than other any other sieve when they have the sacred sites okay and then sometimes that results in great uh, strategies for the Delhi because sometimes the sacred victory becomes a real threat on feudal age and that's very interesting actually because usually the Delhi player only goes for the sacred sites to go castle age faster but sometimes they can get all the three sacred sites and they can overpower their enemy with units and then they can just sometimes they don't even win but just that pressure allows them to consequently win the game in a more advanced states so very interesting I am magic with a military wing so he'll be able to spawn two spearmen and two archers and then gain access to the boot camp, making his infantry more healthy. And our Delhi player is going to Tower of Victory. So every barracks and archery range built in the influence of the Musk and the Tower of Victory, the units that come out of those buildings will have 20% more attack speed. Very interesting approaches for our players over here. In terms of sheep, yeah, these for these sieves it doesn't really matter, but it can be important because you can be on the berries and be pushed out of that position. And then if you, if you don't have a lot of sheep under your TC, you you you, you kind of screwed, right? And actually, magic using the sheep, not the berries. Yui metal went for the berries. He has really nice deer pack behind that wood line, and uh, the busted player has actually two deer packs really close to each other. A TC here will be good to gather this deer here, but perhaps this will be very exposed anyway. Stone already being collected for the Bassid player. I'm actually more interested to see how Yui Metal, the Delhi player, approaches this match. Will he be strong on Feudal or will to, he will try to go Castle as fast as possible? He's now collecting a lot of wood, right? To look for some military buildings perhaps. That's a blacksmith, alright. He wants those upgrades. Two spears and two archers already on the way from I Magic base, going towards directly to Yui Metal's base. Those berries will be running out soon. And then the next berries for the other player are actually in the front of the base, so that's not great. Okay. 
die. Scout is in danger. Spears and archers will try to attack the berries. It's quite far away from the TC. I think they can reach it. But I imagine someone doesn't want to risk it. Let's see, back in the Abbasid base, no military buildings. Not a lot of people on gold. Still, yeah, going for that TC. I see. Delhi player building archery range. Okay. Yeah, TC will be here or there. Perhaps here it's safer. Around this wood line. Gets the deer anyway. Scott looking down to kill the deer and leave it on the spot. Okay, right there. In the middle of the two wood lines. I like it. I like that. Spears now chasing the scout from Yui Metal. And you see, will be completed super safely, no danger here. Archers now coming out from the Delhi player. Remember, they can place scholars inside of their buildings and they will produce 100% faster. It's actually a great tech. Golden Age Tier 1 activated for the Abbasid player. So now they have a villager gathering rate of plus 15% for all resources. And that's really, really good. Second TC now being placed. And expect the villager count start to go way more towards Magic's favor. Three, four archers already for Yui Metal. Also now adding a stable and horseman already on the queue. And that will be a barracks. So, alright. One of each. Spears, archers, horsemen, everything coming out. Because our Basset player is not... Oh, okay, now he's going for... Stable and archery range. I like that. This will be an interesting. So both players want to play this feudal. Let's go. Let's play feudal. I like that. The other player will be very soon able to capture those sacred sites and win extra gold from it. And also make that a threat. The sacred victory. Archers now coming down to this sacred site. First sacred site being captured. Second sacred site being captured. The wolf was attacking, but retreats back to his leeching, leeching spot. Spear goes in, try to take down the scholar. Archer is there to defend. Very well played by Yui Mantle. There is an two spears. No, War Spear and Archer chasing these two horsemen. But there is four archers over there. Archer now horseman and another archer. So the, both of these sacred sites should be captured by Yui Mantle. That will be a lot of gold coming from him. Expect a fast castle village after that. Some players when play daily, they do like to spend gold on the market that they get from the sacred site to play a, lo a lot of feudal pressure. But since your enemies on a second TC already building a villager lead, I think it will be wiser for you to do the same and go castle age, village fortress, and build a lot of village villagers, villages, villagers. Damn, play too much China building those villages. You know what I'm saying? No walling on those sacred sites though, so a simple scout can be here, and if you're fighting, you can't really uh, defend. Yui Metal is way more military than I am Magic. And Magic needs to play a bit more defensive right now. He has two TCs. He will have more economy and eventually more military. Yui Metal trying to apply pressure on this wood line. Archer being picked off here. Being picked up, I mean. This horseman can also be picked up. Horseman from Yui Metal going to the wood line, but villagers run away. Safe, safe, safe. Yui Metal loses one horseman. Two horsemen from Iron Magic trying to raid the base of Yui Metal. Yui Metal will move to the forward base, or the forward part of his base. Trying to go for those berries. Belly player sitting on two sacred sites, now going for the battering ram. Horsemen looking for victims, but there is not a bunch of them. There is no outpost here as well, so these villagers might be able, might be forced to idle. Oh, no, a lot of archers from AM Magic. 11 from Magic against 16 from UE Metal. But we have horsemen on the field. There is no spears from Magic. There is spears from UE Metal to be able to counter those horsemen. Archers focusing down the horsemen for Magic. And more horsemen arrive on the field for both players. But archers are being picked apart from my magic. He already has a, a 10 villager lead. But he cannot build the military lead right now. Archers exposed from Yui Metal. There is one single spear there. Trying to kill the horseman. It does good damage. 
Sacred Sight being contested, but two spears there to defend from the horseman. So no, sir, you're not getting this one. Ram built. Your metal will build another ram. We'll, I think we'll try to take down this second TC, right? Then perhaps destroy some production from the enemy. Sacred sites still stand. UE Metal, I think he's expending gold on the market. Does he have a market? No, sir. Oh, he's building scholars, perhaps. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, scholars? No, only two scholars. Where is the gold going to, then? He doesn't pay for tech. Oh, there you go. The market is there. My bad, guys. My bad. Three rams. That's a commitment. Is that an Aline UE Metal? Okay, H4? That seems like a committed commitment to me. Horseman going around. A magic now researching his second military upgrade. It's the range defense upgrade. Already got the range attack upgrade. UV metal sitting on only ranged attack upgrade. So 25 archer. It's the same equal archer numbers, but there is a town center there. More horsemen from UE Metal. This can be a good fight for him. Rams working down the TC, but the horsemen are killing the rams, but the horsemen are also going down. Great works, the spears kill the horsemen. And now the TC, I think this TC will go down. Some villagers trying to repair. Villagers being pulled to kill the rams, but it's only two villagers. But the numbers from UE Metal are really going down here. There is not enough archers here to contest. Spears on the archers of the reinforcements. More horsemen coming in, but I think it's too late. I think this TC will survive. It's too many archers here right now. They'll be able to defend. But you metal killed nine villagers on this attack. This is great. So now he's ahead on villagers. Beautiful. And this is also a lot of idle time from magic. Not only is losing villagers, he's also lost gathering time. So well played by you metal. Good push. But the TC still lives. Alright. And now he lost a bunch of units. He has a lot of gold though from those sacred sites. But he will lose this at least this first sacred site. Will now be neutralized. And will lose that gold income. Horseman looking for a raid. That's 26 archers. That's a lot of archers. Horseman is going for the archers though. Archers are forced to pull away. Okay, you metal will maintain the sacred site. I like that. But I think these horsemen will be picked off, picked up by these archers, right? Yep. Those horsemen were all clean. Let's go. Love to see that. Back in the base. Yui metal repairing the TC. Going for an extra set of. No, it's the first barracks. It's a lot of archers, bro. That's a lot of archers. Remember, on the Castle Edge, if we reach Castle Edge, he'll be able to research Composite Bow, <clears throat> reducing the reload time from 33%, making those archers attack really, really fast. More horsemen is being picked apart by those archers. The numbers keep growing. 28 archers now. 27. 29. Those horsemen will not, are not able to keep it up. And Yui Metal does lose the first Sacred Tide. He still has one. Remember that. He has a lot of gold in the bank. Maybe looking for a Castle Edge, but he wants to defend at least a little bit. But, good work, but still, iMagic still has 26 archers. And they keep coming. Let's go. A passive player showing the power of two TCs and fresh foodstuffs. The other player, he could buy resources, but he doesn't want to right now. He's accumulating a lot of gold. Archers are being picked apart. The horsemen, three horsemen, four horsemen at a time are able to reduce the, the archer ball, but it's still 24 of them, it's still too much. It's a good defense for Mewi Metal, but I think eventually he, he'll not be able to defend. He needs to do something right now that will change the flow of this game, of this match. Another horseman goes down. A great fight, great use from I magic of these archers. 
Horseman will look to the capture, that's that sacred side. Good move from Magic. More horsemen coming in, trying to pick the archers, but there is some spears here now. Those spears will be the death of those horsemen. Or even faster death, I mean. And I Magic just keeps chilling. We met a really close to a job. But he needs to be very careful. If these archers see the aging of villagers, they can pick it, they can pick those archers. Those villagers and delay or even can cancel the age up from UE metal. My magic now going all in on the units. 23 archers, 5 horsemen, 2 spears. Kind of low on resources, but already 10 villagers ahead again. Combat of the defender being thrown down back in the base. I think that's safe. Good army here to defend. I like that. Better numbers. Maybe you defend, the, you fight near the TC? I think it would be better, no? Sacred Sight was neutralized, so no passive gold income now for Wii Metal. Horseman jumps into the archers, but it will be one shotted, not one shotted, but it will be deleted. Very well played by Magic. Now has 31 archers. Oh, what? Combat of the Defender was cancelled? I thought, yeah, it was. It wasn't being built. Wow, I didn't realize that. Maybe Yui wanted to use the food for military? Because, yeah, Magic has a lot of military right now. Horseman going somewhere. Does he know about this? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think he does. I think he scouted that out. My magic also going to the castle edge and our golden age tier 2 activated. His research speed is now higher as well. Or shorter I mean. Horseman picking up some villagers here. Villagers gotta run away. Metal is here to defend. But the military advantage is now huge for magic. He has 3 more he has three times more military and he, he has a 20 villager lead as you can see golden, golden age tier 2 research speed 15 percent all right okay you uh, magic only killed two villagers here not to be not to be good loss for the deadly player but a lot of idle time that's true come out of the defender being finished Oh, you might need to be careful. The archers can be caught out of position. Aggro the boar, aggro the boar as you leave. Aggro the boar. Aggro the boar. That will be nice, right? One of these villagers will be killed as well. The metal needs to start building immediately some knights and men at arms. Villagers here safe. That's a lot of horsemen. That's a lot of horsemen chasing the archers. First knight comes out. Second knight comes out. I think you metal is good now. Not researching the technologies. I sometimes I forget as well from the combat of the defender. Oh, those knights shouldn't. Yeah, they are going into the mess. It takes a, a lot of time, but these 50. Wait, 50 archers, but they're not all here. Only 36 are here. I imagine he's sitting down 50 archers, bro. And he's going third age with the culture win. Yeah, he's in an advantage position because he has a bigger military and now he's aging up. And Metal needs to wait for those upgrades, right? And also, he built a trader and cancelled it and deleted it. And also, Yui Metal can't get food. And these villagers are running. These villagers will be destroyed, I believe. He has no sacred sites as well. Great move here from Magic. Go for the berries with an outpost. If needed, can react there to the sacred site. Combat of Defender still not researching anything. Stone in the front. That's kind of a bad spawn as well. Unfortunate. Ooh, you might have already lost 17 villagers. The villager lead increases more for Magic. We need those keeps. But villager fortress is not being researched. 
to take six minutes. It's a lot of time. Magic is now pushed away by the archers and the knight, but it's just delaying the inevitable, right? Okay, knight numbers growing healthy for the UE. I like that. Five knights already. Oh, I like this. The fiddlings upgrade coming in to make those spears even more powerful. They will cause a lot of trouble to the knights. Nice. Secret sight being recaptured by Yubi Metal, making sure that building come keeps coming. Oh, good fight here, but I think Yubi Metal got this? I don't know. It depends. He needs to kill the spears, now the knights. One of them is low HP, but I think he can, they can do this, right? They have one defense, range defense upgrade. If they had the second one, they would win this for sure. Oh, but more spears coming in. Those knights are in trouble now. Yep. One goes down. The second one goes down. Only three knights left. Another one goes down. Only two knights left. Bro, you metal cannot build a stable military. He only has one knight now. And seven archers. Uh-oh. A manga nail would be really nice here. He has the wood for it. He doesn't need to research anything, he can just do it. Keep coming up, but still no village fortress. Oh man, he's gonna be so mad when he realizes. Oh, I forgot about it, no. The relic. Good, but good for both players. You metal sneakily picks the relic, but gets caught off guard. He already has one in the base. So that's a good, nice extra gold income. Keep here coming in clutch. We'll take down a lot of those archers. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, you, you have also to... GG? What? Because he realizes he forgot about Village Fortress? No way. Guys, if you like this one, leave a like and check more on the channel. The Trek Cloud Surfer, surfing out.